Good morning, good morning, good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, or whatever part of the world you're in. Welcome to my channel. I am here to do hashtag Junk July 2023, hosted by Scrimping Mummy. Scrimping Mummy. Sorry, Amanda, fumbled that one. And today I'm going to be working on fussy cutting and my favourite saying. I have spent uh, quite a few minutes cutting out these beautiful butterflies from the magazine that I've just recently started using. It's Daphne's Diary. And there were two sheets of these beautiful, but look, they're both, they're all double-sided. So you can't make a mistake. Whichever one you put up top is going to work for you. Just absolutely beautiful. They were designed to make a mobile, but I thought, you know, being who I am, that I could use them in my journals. And these gorgeous ones will be added to my container of butterflies, which I will do straight away so that I do not forget. Okay, that is done. Well done, Ruth. Put one thing away. I've got two of them here that I have cut out ready to go on my page. So, let's start by working on the backing sheet. I've already got my lovely blue paper there and I'm sorry about the sun coming across here. There's not much I can do about that. I'm just enjoying sitting in a little bit of sunlight. It is absolutely beautiful. Now I've got my scratch sheet here. <laughs> it's looking a little bit daggy. It's getting close to the point where I can actually use it on something so that is rather cool too. Okay, now I'm going to use a book page and I'm just going to make what I hope will resemble just a blue and white tartan by going across the pages like this and backwards and forwards and then to make the crossovers just go straight down. This is my version. Now in the interest of time and because I don't want to deaden your ears using my heat gun I'm going to put the sheet aside I've already prepared another one here. So, we're going to pop that over there. Alright. Now, I've got this one backed already with my double-sided paper. And I'm just going to cut out a piece of it, take off the, the white borders so that I've only got a fraction of the page left. I don't need the whole thing, but I do need a lot of the text just to make it interesting. We're having a break in our rainy weather at the moment, which is really, really lovely. Oh, we are in winter, so I mustn't complain too much. Okay, bring back my page. Make sure that this is up the right way before I fix it down. It's a little bit crooked, but that's okay. This is, you know, junk journal pages. Come on get a little bit real about this. Oh, I didn't know that I'd left that little bit uncovered, so I'm just going to chop that off, which will probably straighten it up a little bit at the top. I'm just being lazy. I can't be bothered putting another little thin strip of tape along there. Okay. It's a long time since I've crafted with you in front of the camera, so I'm rather enjoying this already. I did prepare the elements beforehand, as you know, because I've done this bit. I just thought it would be nice to save a little bit of time, because you don't need to watch me fussy cutting. Now, my lace for this month is Eyelet Lace. because it has a hanging a little bit. Oh, I used a black pen a little while ago. Okay, now work out where I want this to sit again because I took it off the paper, didn't I? Now where's my pencil? Just a little mark where it's not going to be seen 
is that bit going to be underneath the paper? Uh, now I've got my Couture Creations. I think it's Couture Creations. Yep. Quick dry adhesive. It is really quite wonderful. And I've always got to take the little top bit of glue off when I close the bottle down. It seals it up, which is kind of nice because it doesn't dribble everywhere that way. If I accidentally tip it over, but it just seals it off, so I've got to get rid of that little bit before I open up the nozzle. Otherwise, we could be in, you know, in that situation of being in the deep again. We can do without that. Okay, a little thin bit of glue. Oh, she says as it goes thick and gluggy. Nice one, Ruth. Thin it out a little bit with my silicone spatula, which is kind of nice. It um, yeah, right. I didn't get anything near me to wipe this down with. That was super clever. Well, I will just leave it standing up in a container and hope that it doesn't get everywhere. <laughs> oh, this is really impromptu. No, it's not. I did plan it, but I didn't plan that bit. Okay, that's good. Now, my all-time favourite saying is the one that I've used for many years by Helen Keller. Alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. I absolutely love that, and it just follows me through life in general. It's been tagging along for more years than I can remember. One of my beautiful subscribers only thought it was half the saying, or not, she thought it was all the saying, and she sent me a stamp. Um, together we can do so much. It's absolutely beautiful. But I wanted to use the whole saying today, so that's why I'm not going to use that stamp right now. Okay. Seems to be sticking rather well. I like that. We have a new discount shopping outlet around the corner from me and it's absolutely lethal because in it is a Kaiser Craft shop and on the weekend they had a 50% off sale. Oh my gosh, I went crazy. I got myself a beautiful new bone fold. It has got a little companion but I haven't got that close handy at the moment. But it only cost me $2 for the two of them. Absolutely awesome. And the books that I'm using here, I picked up another five of them so Amanda, if you're doing more challenges, honey, I'd love that, because I've got the books now prepared, ready. So, well, not prepared, but they're, they're ready to use. So, but they were marked down by 50%. Everything that had a Kaiser Craft brand on it was marked down 50%. I tell you what, oh, my budget took a hit. <laughs> I was just so excited. Oh, dear. Nothing worse than an ant. A veteran excitement. <laughs> Not veteran as in having served, but um, vintage. That's the word I was looking for. Vintage excitement from an old lady who does craft. <laughs> Nothing like it. I'm just folding the little bodies so that I can put these onto the page and they will stand up until I close the book. I love to see butterflies flying in books. Can't always do it, but because they're, when you've got booklets that close this away, um, well, like a, a novel, this one, if you put butterflies that fly here and here, their wings catch up together, at, but this way, when I close the pad, it's not going to be affected. Little butterflies will just flatten down, and then when I open up the pad again, I can lift it up and make it look absolutely gorgeous. Right, get out my glue again. I'm getting good at this, putting my things away. I just wish I could tidy up the little bit of dross that's over here. 
I'll get there. I'm looking at getting a smaller table for myself. This dining room table is not really suitable for this little house. It's a, a six-seater that expands out to eight. And uh, this little kitchen area of mine is really too small for it. run until that glue takes. Now I'm not adding very much to these pages. I'm keeping them, well, you know, unless they're collaged or something like that, I'm keeping them fairly, fairly small in content. Don't ask me why. I just started it out that way, so I'm going to keep it that way. And this one I think I'll have flying over this direction. Alrighty. Now, down the bottom, using a little piece of paper as my ruler, now, what is the actual phrase on the, the prompt sheet? I want to get these right so that I don't muck it up. Uh, inspiring quote. is today's date. Look at that, I'm all up to date. Woohoo! Finally got there. So there we have it, my lovelies. Inspiring quote and fussy cutting on the 11th of July. And I do hope that you like that. I love it. I've got a real thing about butterflies anyway, I always have had. They are just so wonderful. They recreate and recreate and, and it's just absolutely beautiful. Their life cycle is small, but they fill the world with absolute gorgeousness. Okay, folks, thank you very, very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I will catch up with you in the very next video. Bye-bye for now. Take care.